Sorry, I asked me, but my game crashed. Um, what I was saying is, I'm gonna check all these doors since everything has changed. Uh, oh, I'm gonna have to fix that. Also, that blinked. I'm sure it did. What's in there? I wanna know where everything is. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered back. the door on his left. Oh, no, did I? I did. No! Oh. Okay, I did. Fine. Yet there was oh. not a single person. I'm trying to turn back into the doors. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. I probably can. Hoping he might find an answer there. Hey. He blocked it off. What a That's a shitty move. Coming I know what's down there. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Down there is stupid. That's what it is. I don't want to go down there anymore. The moment he entered his manager's office, Stanley froze in his tracks. Not a living soul anywhere. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as yep. possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming yeah. new age music. Oh, well this isn't even good music, come on. Is this relaxed? Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley no. calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Am I calm? No, I'm not. Let's go. Clicky, clicky. I clicky clicky. Okay, so now we're gonna find. I actually forget what the thing was. What the fudge? Sure. Sure. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Nope. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Great. Let's go meet my violent death, everybody. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on that's, track. That's really cool. But I don't care. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward I and am. willingly confront his death. Yep. Come here, death. Please. I'm here for you. It's my death? Correct? Whee! I'm at my death. So now that I'm probably dead, it's going to restart, most likely. As the machine whirred into motion, and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his oh. brief and shallow life. There was Stanley. Cool. I'm dead. What? Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley uh -huh. was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, Great. killing him instantly. Oh god. Where am I? Boxes. I want a box. Stanley Parable. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. Yep. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Exactly. 
When Ooh. every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Boop, boop, boop. Boopity, boopity, boop. The two doors. So this is the main part where... The office. It's like... The selection of sounds do throughout the game when buttons are pressed. Each sound has a mix of keyboard stroke and synth and that. I guess those are the things. These are the credits of this amazing game, so please... Look at that. I'm not gonna say their names because I probably can't pronounce a lot of them. I'm not good at pronouncing names. The narrator. You have a cool voice. Again, uh, yeah. Yeah. J just yeah. Um. What is this? Maintenance room. An early version of the maintenance room. Uh, that's the uh, upturned table. I thought it was. Do, 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 do. Cool. Cool. It's all so cool. Narrator. Emails. I can't even read those. Yeah, what's Stanley's last name? <laughs> okay, wow. Um. There's bound to be something somewhere. How do I get out of this? This is cool. And where's that lady who was talking earlier? Oh, that's the exit. Countdown desk. Countdown for what? You need some nice buttons. What's this? The zending zone? I have no clue what that is. Uh, these levers were originally part of the zending. The player would pull a lever and the narrator would describe what color level they had pulled. Because I couldn't tell what that color was. Uh oh. That was blinking. It was. Um, huh? Oh, see? What's that? Bloop, bloop. I clicked it. I actually did it at that time. I'm happy. Um, I guess I Oh god, that was creepy. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Shut up. <laughs> no, just shut see? up. <laughs> Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Whatever. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. I'll just stop die. now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... Squish! Squish. <laughs> hmm. So that was a nice ending. I died. Hmm. It's just on a black screen or what? Sure. Begin the game. I guess that's what you have to do. So I'll end this episode off here with me yawning and stretching. See you next time, awesome people. Thanks for watching. Bye.